Hello and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. So you see this big thing. I added a couple more solar cells to see if I can load up the, the battery a little bit faster. But the thing is, by, all the, by adding two extra solar panels, they're not exactly in the perfect position. They only charge the battery during the day and they add weight. And this is quite a big heavy ship. So I think I'm going to have to change my my strategy because i'm not going to be able to move this thing with solar panels uh i'm going to need uranium so what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase my little hangar over here and i'm going to build a small little ship just to make me allow me to move around and find some uranium because to move such a big ship i don't think it's going to be feasible to move it with solar panels they're too heavy they take a lot of time to recharge the battery and uh, the thrusters require quite a bit of power so I'm just gonna look for uranium on the planet hopefully I'll find it and I'm gonna mine it by hand I got a drill and that should be pretty good so I think I'm gonna do a small little ship so let's start over with I got the thrusters not this not this not the door I'm gonna pick up uh, before I did this I also installed wheels on the on the ship I removed most of the thrusters and uh, I removed this uh, cargo container but the thing is with the rotors some rotors were rotating one direction and on the other side they're rotating in the opposite direction I managed to place down the rotors on my tool belt when I got in like I go here, I go to G and I place down the rotors here and I choose to uh, increase velocity, decrease velocity. But once, and I went to the control panel and I made the, 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 the other rotors that were going back reverse. But once I increase the velocity, they go back to their uh, initial status. So I had some wheels going front and some wheels going to the back. So it didn't work very well. I will have to spend more time. It's, it can be done. I just needed to add another button for certain rotors to reverse. And then when I increase the velocity, they would all go in the same direction. But what I think I'm going to do is a small little... So I'm going to need a, a little cockpit. Uh, I'm going to need a landing gear to start off. Where's the landing gear? I was thinking kind of make a, a, a small little... Uh, uh, Jeep but I think I think not I think yeah how did I do this so it's R change it yeah R but I want it like this I don't know why it keeps connecting on the opposite direction like yeah let's put it like there let's build it and I'm just gonna make a small little ship, so the, the front... Where, where's the front? I don't know. So, let's just put... a few blocks. Okay, now the cockpit. Uh, I don't know. If the front, where's the front? The lights. That one I have the two lights on the back, so I, I'm gonna keep the same way. I believe this is a 3x3, three three. yeah. Let's just build it. And it's just gonna be. Doesn't have any drills. Not gonna have. Uh, and I have a few in the middle, yeah. It's not gonna have drills, it's not gonna have a lot of cargo containers. I think I'm just gonna put one medium one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make this a truck. I don't have uranium to go around. What the hell am I gonna do? 
I'm gonna encounter the same problem. <laughs> so let me start over and let's do a truck instead. Okay, so this is the issue. Once I plot these rotators here, they're gonna have this alignment. But once I put them on this side, they're gonna have a different alignment. They're gonna rotate on the different direction. But let's do it anyway. And we'll work it out later. So I'm gonna need compound computers. Oh boy, sorry about that. Let's just make a few computers. Do I have computers? No. So let's wear the computers, computer, computer. Let's just make a few. Let's grab the computers and the solar cells. Let's put the solar cells over there. Nothing I'm gonna need it. Okay. This is the full rotor. The rotor with the rotor part on top. I don't know if you could use just the rotor top. I'm just using it, the rotor, uh, completely. Like, you can choose, like, you got the full rotor, you got the rotor part, you got the advanced rotor. You know, I'm using it, the full rotor. Uh, small steel tubes, okay. Small steel tubes and steel plates. Just iron. Small steel tubes I don't have. Uh, small steel tubes and let's do 100 of these. Because I'm gonna need it. Okay, that should be good. This thing. I'm not gonna destroy it, I'm gonna keep it. Later on, I'll try to work it out once I have some more uranium and stuff. Uh, I sure wanna have a mining ship. I didn't bring enough steel plates. God damn it. Come on. Thank you. Okay, how about 81? Is it enough? I sure hope it is. As I was saying, I want to have a mining ship to mine with rails and stuff, but for now it's not feasible. So now, let's put the wheels in, and you can have this one by one, three by three, or five by five. I think I'm gonna go with the three by. Th I think they fit. Uh, I'm not sure if they have a side, but I think what determines the rotation is the rotor, not the wheel itself. I think the wheel can go willy nilly. I'm gonna go with the three by threes. And I think this size should be good because when I tried the wheels on this thing, I placed wheel here and a wheel here, uh, kind of here. And I had to add another one on the back, just in the center, and another one on the front because it started tilting back and forth. So let's see if this is enough to give some nice, if it has a nice gra center, center of gravity. Let's see about it. The amount of wheels doesn't really matter, it's easy as managing just two, because I can just create a group for the rotors, and I just control it as one item at the same time, so I need more of this, Meteor Storm, these Meteor Storms are actually kind of nice, because that's how I kind of found ice and bits of silver and uranium and stuff, so... I don't know if having a turret will be a good idea, because destroying the meteorites, I will destroy these resources, probably. But at the same time, I would prevent the meteorites to kill me, and destroy everything I have. So... yeah. They look kinda cool. Let's see. Let's see if they brought something. Uh, maybe it takes a while to... Yeah, I don't think there's nothing here for now. Maybe, maybe it takes a while to, to spawn something. Uh, okay, so I got the wheels in. And of course I don't want this to be too heavy, but uh, but uh, I want also want it to be a little sturdy. So let's just put the cockpit uh, right here in the middle, in the front. Yeah, I think that's good. I need, I need this place. 
plus five displays. And I'm not filling myself up with stuff because you know I might I might need to destroy something and I need room. Uh, this place. Okay, I still got iron. Very really good. The basic assembly is nickel, but yeah, I got 1k on the refinery, which for now should be good. Okay, let's build the cockpit. And uh, cargo container. Let's go to cargo containers. Cargo. So I got the small one, the large one, and the medium one. Let's see the large one, how large it is. Not that large. I mean, here it's pretty large, but here not so much. Uh, let's see if I can place it. Doesn't allow me. Interior plates, oh, that's the thing. Yeah, I just pressed to see what I needed because I wasn't seeing it. Uh, so let's grab interior plates. And I'm just gonna put it right there. Uh, and uh, against the. Oh, it's bigger than the cockpit. Okay. Is it centered? Yeah, nice. That's pretty good. I need more construction components. Let's grab it. Maybe this is enough. And yeah, solar panel and a battery. Of course I'm gonna need it. But at least I'm just gonna need one. And it should be enough to power the... The wheels, you know? So... Let's put a battery. Where's the ten battery? Battery, battery, battery. There it is. And I'm gonna need a solar panel. Yeah. So number seven. Is that a smaller one? Small battery. Oh, that's pretty damn small. A high output of energy. Okay. I think I'm gonna put Three small batteries. Let's see how it works. Power cells, of course. I mean, I haven't tried the small batteries. No, never know. I yeah, I have enough. I think it was two each, so I just need one more. There you go. And you know, the idea this is this. This is lighter. Does it have a, a display? Uh, yeah, that should be good. Uh, uh, let's just put it in. Another computer. Mother effer. Come on, man. Don't get stuck, please. I don't have computers, so let's make more computers. Uh, I only make 20. So let's leave the power cells and the displays and the grids. Uh, Energy low. I'm gonna need this. Maybe I'm gonna need this. And maybe some motors. And some displays. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have to refill and let's put the solar panel in. Okay, so solar panels in. Of course they're not in the most optimal position because if the sun comes from that side only this solar panel is gonna get the sun. But I think this should be enough. And I kinda like this, like it's like wings. You know, <laughs> it looks kinda cool, I don't know. I'm not even gonna bother with the shell. But now I'm gonna have to work out the rotors. So let's go to control panel. And let's create a group. I just shift clicked on rotor 4. Now let's call it Rotas. Save. So now where I go to Rotas, I access them all. So now I go to G. 
Then I go to groups. And I'm gonna say it. The first one is gonna be increase the lock velocity, number one. Number two, decrease velocity. Number three, reset velocity to make it stop. So just go to zero. And I'm gonna have to see which rotors. So I believe I put number one and number two on the right. So they should be going the right direction. So on number four, I'm gonna put reverse. And on number four, reverse. Number three and number four. And hopefully this will help me make it work. Unfortunately, for now, it's still attached to the landing gear, so I can't, I can't get much closer than this. But once I remove the landing gear, I'm going to be able to go really close and see which direction the wheels are turning. So for now, of course, it's still night time. I got some power in the batteries already, but not too much. Uh, yeah, they, they got no, no input because it's night time, of course. But once they'll they'll recharge, they should have power for some time. Let's see. Uh, let me just get out and see what else I would need. So to turn is just with the mouse. It kind of turns. I was thinking I would need like pistons to make the wheels turn, but no. Just rotating the mouse makes the vehicle turn. At least that one did. Uh, and uh, it's just the rotors to make it go forward and backwards. And I got a container with 15,000 liters, that should be pretty good. I'm just gonna put my stuff back. Because I'm gonna need all this room to grab minerals. And of course, the main thing I'm gonna look for is uranium. And I don't know if I can find uranium here, on the planet. Or if I'm gonna have to go... If I'm gonna have to go to space to find uranium, I'm in deep shit. Because I don't have the ability right now to to make a ship to leave to leave the planet's orbit. So let's see how it goes. For now, I think I, I'm better off just making a, a, a truck, electricity powered, and uh, let's see how it goes. But for now, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna remove this. Let's see. Maybe I should save first. Let me just save. Yeah, I think it's better. <laughs> and... Okay, we're on the floor. Nice. Now let's see, can I get closer? Yeah, now I can get a little closer. And... Nothing's happening. I think I don't have enough, enough power. No, what I do need is to make them go... Yeah, there you go. You see, they're not going the same direction. So I need to make 4 and 5 reverse, and now let's see. Yeah, now they're going the, the good direction. Pretty good. Now they're going all forward. So let's increase the velocity. Oh, but now they keep going forward. Let's reset it. Let's make it go back. Yeah, that's a pain in the balls. Because I keep having to go to reverse. Yeah, come back a little bit. And... Reset. It stops. Okay. That's the thing. I have to go to reverse. I have to press 4 and 5 each time I increase the velocity. And that's not very good. There must be a better way to do it. Well, one, one thing that I could do is remove these things. And uh, if I create a group for these two rotors, that's one better thing that I don't need to worry about. So let's just create a group for these ones. Rotors reverse. So here I have them all. Well. I could... Yeah, I'm gonna delete this group. 
and I'm gonna do two separate groups one for the rotor the rotors that are going rotors forward there you go yeah these two are the ones that are going forward these two are the ones that are going back so now let's reset the groups let's reset the group so now I got the forward I'm gonna put one increase velocity and in reverse I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put decrease velocity and once I press one and two uh, yeah let's try it decrease velocity 1 and 2 is to go forward uh, number 3 and I should create another group for them all yeah but let's put for number for group number 1 decrease velocity and for group number 2 increase velocity uh, and now I should have another group to just reset them all at the same time so I'm gonna go to control panel and I'm gonna redo the same that I had before rotors nice and I go to G groups and rotors and I'm gonna put it to reset velocity so now let's see uh, I go one and two. Yeah, they're all going the same in the same direction. I can just press them both like this. I uh, just need to get out of here. Let's go faster. Can you go faster? Oh boy! Now I've done it. Now let's go number five. Let's reset. Let's go to zero, and. Uh, <laughs> Well, I saved the game earlier, so I can go back to the save, but it, it was working. I made the wheels on the right go forward and the wheels on the left go backwards. So they were kind of going all in the same direction. So I think this is going to work. So I'm just going to reset. I think I'm just going to make a ramp. That should be a better idea. And uh, put everything as it was, but hopefully have the truck in the right position. Okay, so I got myself a, a big old ramp. I reset the things as they were before. So now let's see. Let's see how it works. So let's go one and two. One and two. Let's go inside the cockpit. One and two. One and two. Not really turning with the mouse, though. Uh, I would wanted to. Yeah, but it's going. I mean, the only issue now is turning. Yeah, I'm not turning with the mouse. So now I can go to three and make it stop abruptly. I'm not sure how I'm gonna turn. I'm at max speed, apparently. Yeah, it's not turning, man. Oh, that's a shame. Before, I was able to turn because I had thrusters. Yeah. So now I can just decrease the velocity and it goes back to zero. Nice. Yeah, I had thrusters to turn. The question is, will I have power enough power for me to turn? Let's try it. Let's try it. So let's just take the battery and let's put the thrusters. Number seven. No, not these ones. Uh, I 
doesn't feel ah oh, I was kinda worried what the hell is going on. So yeah I can put them on top. Why not? Like one here and the other one here. Let's see. Yeah now I don't have anything. I'm gonna have to go back and get the stuff. So number six, no, uh, number seven. So it's steel plates construction. Yeah. Uh, construction. Uh, maybe borders. Metal grid, large steel tube. Uh, steel plates. Construction, metal grids, construction, metal grid, motors, and, and steel plates. I think I have it all. Let's see. Oh boy, that hurt. And there it is. <laughs> I was kind of afraid I, was, I, I lost it. More motors. Okay. 16 more motors. And the rest I can maybe. I'll bring it on. That's better. Okay. Nice. Oh, it's so nice having hydrogen. Really helpful. Yeah, I think this is why I was able to turn with the mouse. Let's see. Let's go power it up. Yeah, I'm not turning with the mouse, but I'm turning with the with the keyboard. It's not ideal, oh boy, it's not ideal, but you know, yeah, it pushes the, the thing, it's, it's, it's not spectacular, you know, but uh, it kind of helps me maneuver, <laughs> now I can go one and two, one and two, apparently 60 RPM is the max, and one thing that I didn't put that I actually need is an detector. So let's go back, hopefully without without making this thing turn. Because if this thing turns, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. And I'm going. Look at me. Oh, nice. Let's just avoid that thing. And I got power for a few seconds. <laughs> yeah. And it's going. Max speed, apparently. And it's definitely going. Well, when the daylight comes, I should have... Yeah, I ran out of power. I definitely ran out of power. And the thing is, I don't even have power to stop the rotors. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna have to wait for the sunlight to come. But there you have it. I got myself a truck to go explore and find uranium. Because when I find uranium, I'm gonna be able to do a real ship. And actually make that ship look nice. And actually make it into a, a real mining ship. But there you have it. Thank you for watching. And until next time.